Hi, this is Aaron Marks from Amplius Wealth Advisors. It is May 16th. I mean, I wanted to post a quick video because last night it was announced that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has been acquiring Chubb stock shares over the last several months back to 2023. Um, and a lot of our uh, friends and clients are Chubb stock shareholders. So I wanted to provide some commentary and thoughts on, on where do we go from here and some historical context. So as of this morning, when I'm recording, stock is at 263 per share. It's up 4%. It did hit about 270 in the post and pre-market, but uh, definitely a nice jump from where it has been. And, and a lot of people want to know, what do I do now? Um, what, what has happened in the past when Berkshire Hathaway has become a, uh, a big shareholder of a public company? So you really just for historical context, as I mentioned before, things can go in several different directions just because warren buffett who's arguably the greatest or one of the greatest investors of all time is a major shareholder does not mean success and riches from here on out again um just picked three different positions that he has bought over the last um few decades the, the the roaring success and one of berkshire's favorite stocks is apple uh since the time when berkshire started to buy apple the shares of Apple are up about 700%. Uh, meanwhile, the S&P 500 is up about 170%. So you see a, a great dispersion there. Uh, a great investment on the Apple side of things. Um, looking at American Express, another huge position since they were bought years ago uh, in the 2000, dead even to the broader stock market. So to that point, hey, did I have to take a shot on this particular company and the risk of it not doing well? Or could I just been broadly exposed to the S&P 500 and it would have been just as good. And then Bank of America, since they started buying pre-financial crisis, the stock is actually down. Now he's bought several times at different dips and different points and have preferred securities and deals that you and I can't get. But just the stock um, by itself is down 11% since that initial purchase. Meanwhile, the broader stock market's up almost uh, 375%. So this is just context to, hey, does it mean Chubb stock is going to be off to the races from here or not? to be determined. But look, I think Chubb's a great company. Uh, but I think what this opportunity gives you is the right to be selfish. Like we're not all multi uh, billionaires like Warren Buffett is, but we're all we all should be a bit selfish in achieving our goals in the short and near and medium term. Because if you have an unfunded liability, whether it's I want to retire, pay for college, buy that house, new golf club membership, whatever it happens to be, you can take this price appreciation and fund those goals. If you've got an exposure to Chubb stock that's more than 10, 15, 20% of your net worth, that is definitely a reason to start paring back some of those that position and taking some gains and, and, and some money off the table. Because again, you're not investing for the same goals and reasons as Berkshire Hathaway or anybody else's. You're investing for yourself and your own family or, and your own objectives. So putting some money in your pocket and taking some profits, I think, is, is always a wise idea. Now, you don't have to sell out of your position completely. Everyone is in the individual position is different, but it, it should necessitate a conversation with your financial advisor and what the strategy should be and what the tax implications might be. So it is exciting news. We'll see what happens from here on out with Chubb stock. Uh, it is exciting. But again, everyone's situation is different and it should uh, require a conversation with your financial advisor. So as always, we're, we're here and happy to help. So thank you for taking the few minutes to listen. Thank you.